frequent sewage backups. I'm overflowing in the yard. Look at this. Look at it. Drug deals going down in the streets. Yeah, look at this mess. I don't believe that we should have to live this way. Home should be a place of refuge, a place where you feel safe and secure. Some people say living in the Life O'Reilly Mobile Home Park in South Lansing is anything but. This morning, the Ingham County Health Department condemned the property, saying the problems with raw sewage and solid waste are causing a public health threat. Raw sewage. Uh, on, on the ground. The biggest issue with raw sewage spilling onto the ground and backing up into people's homes. Bad news came knocking Saturday. Have to go tonight. Giving more than 200 residents just days to pack up and get out. We would not have posted the condemnation um, if it wasn't serious. So it's very serious and we want to give people a good place to live. This area is uninhabitable for human occupancy. Well, Jane, people living there have just 10 days to leave, but many are scared because they say they don't have anywhere else to go. There's more than 80 trailers in this park, and as you can see, most of them are still occupied. People are packing up, but the worry is that they're not going to be able to make it in the 10 days. The majority of those living in the park have yet to find a permanent place to relocate. However, the city is doing everything it can to help the community. Currently about 60 families are in hotels and motels. 20 households have moved into their new homes. Looting is a problem. Somebody wanted to walk in here and take whatever they wanted, they could do it. It looks like the place has been ransacked. You'd think this is the last place someone would look to steal something. They had told her that they had permission from me to be there to get stuff off the property. Do you feel safe there? No. I do not feel safe at all. Anger boiled over during a meeting designed to relieve pressure and answer questions. The police were even called to the Life O'Reilly informational meeting today. Eyewitnesses say there was a small fight and two people had to leave. Frustrated doesn't come close to describing the amount of despair and anger some residents being forced out of their homes are feeling. My trailer is completely livable. It's been terrible. Just utter chaos. It's a mess. The residents have until Friday to get their stuff and go. Since they only had 10 days to find a new home, many still don't have one. The homeless angels have stepped in to help the folks leaving the Life O'Reilly Mobile Home Park. Members handed out business cards with local agency contacts, went door to door delivering food and clothes, anything. A lot of these families are out money. I don't have any money left. They paid six months' rent. It's unlikely they'll ever see that money again. We lost it all. Everything's gone. Pretty say that today is the last day for people living there to move out. Now as of midnight, I will be home because they are shutting down the trailer park. This is not human like. Well, it has been a month since 85 families were forced out of their homes at the Life O'Reilly Trailer Park in South Lansing. The city had agreed to cover their temporary housing, but as Alyssa Fenske reports, as far as the city's concerned, enough is enough. Victims of the Life O'Reilly condemnation, the Walker family has been living in this motel for the past month. And come Monday, they've been told they need to move out. We'll have to live in our van. I don't have the money to work out right now. Around 92 percent of everyone who had been living in Life O'Reilly have found housing. The city has already spent thousands of dollars towards Life O'Reilly residents and a line has to be drawn. We have spent a little over fifty thousand dollars to date. I would hate for this to happen to somebody else. As for Life O'Reilly, the city of Lansing is still pursuing legal action against the owners. So far, the owners of that park have only had to pay a $10,000 fine. The rumor and in, in innuendo to say that there's raw sewage on the ground going all over, we simply didn't find it. That's right. When I interviewed the owner, he told me he was making all the necessary repairs to keep the park open and was shocked to see it closed. But he had no idea I followed his nearly two-year paper trail to health officials and contractors that shows he was well aware of the park's problems and the county's demands to make changes. Lansing took the next step in cleaning up the Life O'Reilly Mobile Home Park today by taking the owners to court. Not only are the owners of the Life O'Reilly Trailer Park running out of time to demolish it, they owe tens of thousands of dollars to Lansing and to the Board of Water and Light.
It's been two years since the issue first came up. The judge has given Lansing the green light to start the demolition process. One of Lansing's biggest eyesores will be coming down. That's right, construction crews will start demol demolishing the Life O'Reilly Mobile Home Park. The city hopes to have the demolition completed by the end of March. A Detroit area contractor will demolish the park at a cost of $130,000. The owner of the property will have to repay the city for those costs. According to city leaders, the owner also owes the city $250,000 in unpaid water bills. Demolition is expected to finish up in a matter of weeks. weeks, weeks. Ten years. The county. So I just got chased out by a guy on a tractor. Um, he was coming right at me, so I'm assuming he saw me. So I figured I'd get the hell out of there. I didn't know if he was security or just some random redneck. Um, so. This place is way too cool to try not to not to try to get into again. So I'm gonna wait to see if he can lay low or if I can see where the hell he is. I don't know where the hell he went. He was literally like right there by that trailer right there. He was right there staring at me when I was over there hiding behind that blue office one. So I walked out over there. And uh, now he's gone. So I don't know. I can't imagine they have security on a tractor. So I'm not sure what the hell he was doing. It's uh, past six o'clock on Monday. So there's nobody working to demolish the place. Wait a minute. He's right there at the edge, so he might just be a neighbor just driving through for the shits and giggles. I can see him working on it, but I think he saw me. There he goes, there he goes. No, I think that might just be somebody scrapping or something. I'm gonna lay low though for a minute and uh, wait to see just what the hell he's doing. Yeah, the gate's wide open over there. Yeah, he just went on that property and he's going to their barn. So either the security guard conveniently lives next door or it's just somebody. It's going over there, uh, whether it's vagrants or varmints or whatever. They're
Yeah, that's my friend right over there that chased me off on the tractor. I can't focus on him, but you can see him right there. He's just kind of putzing around. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. It's sketching me out, though. He's smoking. Kind of dicking about. So I left my friend over that way. And I'm checking all of these out. As you can see, the sun is setting. So I don't know how much I'll get to do before it's dark. And well, I don't have a problem with it being dark. I don't really want him seeing my flashlight in case he's either scrapping or pissed off. So we'll see how it goes.
pregnant, I got kids, you know what I mean? So I'm like 10 days, that's not enough time. How does this make you feel? Horrible. Oh, children.
T-U-T-C-H. trying not to cry and lose it. I'm trying to stay tough and get it taken care of. Make sure residents were aware of the results. Somebody wanted in this one bad. But they had to give up.
This is the worst situation that we have ever been in. Some robbers expired in 2010. This poor guy never got a chance to use them. Definitely would have got laid with that too. Fishes.
so we're leaving, but we're not going before we get one survivor out of this place. Come on, my friend. I'm taking you home. Rescue you.